Good evening, everyone. A federal judge has temporarily blocked the so-called bathroom sign bill. That judge said the requirement for business owners to post a sign if they allow transgender people to use a bathroom associated with their gender identity violates the business owner's freedom of speech. Well, News Channel 5's Jason Lamb has much more from one of the local business owners who sued. I'll be proud to be able to tell my kids I stood up um, to support people. Bob Bernstein is the owner of the Fido Coffee Shop, one of the two businesses that filed the lawsuit against the new law that requires they post a sign if they allow transgender people to use a bathroom associated with their gender identity. The sign is discriminatory, it's a political statement, and it's in red and yellow letters like a warning sign. So just by looking at it, um, it shows that there's something wrong. Right? There's some danger or something happening. The ACLU promised to sue against the law, and they are providing the legal counsel for their lawsuit. In a ruling today, U.S. District Judge Alita Trauger sided with the business owners, temporarily stopping the sign requirement because she said it violated the First Amendment, forcing the business owners to say something they don't want to. Of course, the signs required by the act are statements about the nature of sex and gender and the role of transgender individuals and society. The judge wrote in her order, justice is blind, but the court does not have to play dumb. We've never enforced anything and never thought about um, enforcing anything or telling people they can't or can't use the bathroom of their choice. While Bernstein hopes the law will be permanently ruled unconstitutional, the ruling today allows the signs to stay down in public businesses across the state. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Thank you, Jason. Many people in the LGBTQ community were upset with some of the other new laws that just made their way into the books here in Tennessee. In fact, the human rights campaign called the legislation the slate of hate. All right, want to take a closer look at some of those laws. One new law bans transgender middle and high school students from playing sports as their non-birth gender. Another requires parents to be notified before their child can be taught sexual education curriculum that includes sexual orientation. And lastly, doctors are no longer allowed to give gender confirming hormone treatment to prepubescent minors. You can read more about these and all of the 32 new laws that went into effect last week under the More Info tab on NewsChannel5.com.